photovoltaics. You've probably seen them popping up in and around your neighborhood. And with temperatures dropping and energy bills rising, you may be wondering if they're right for you. Well, get ready to get on out of the dark, because I'm about to shed some light on solar panels. The sun is shining on this beautiful historic home in Sykesville, Maryland, and that's good news for the owners Ray and Patricia Greenwald. Today, crews are installing a new solar panel system in their backyard. I'm very much into the environment, concerned about the impact that we're making on the earth. My husband is a scientist. He always is making spreadsheets, so I know he's going to be spending the next several, probably at least a year, doing cost-benefit analyses on what we're saving. Built in the 1700s, the Greenwall's home is historic, and local regulations won't allow panels on the roof. So after doing a little research, the couple decided to go with a ground-mounted system, a decision Pat's husband, Ray, predictably sees as more of an investment. I did an analysis of what, how much power we use uh, per day continuously on average over the year. It looks like it's going to do a pretty good job of knocking down an electric bill on an annual basis to a very small amount. For many, going solar just makes dollars and cents. The Green Walls paid for their system up front, allowing them to take advantage of a 30% federal tax credit and some state and local incentives. Combined with energy bill savings, the system will pay for itself in anywhere between five and 10 years. The more panels, the more energy, the better your return. You can also expect to see a three to 5% bump in the value of your home. I'm here with Jeff Merkin. He is the CEO of Solar Energy World, and they're the company responsible for installing the system you saw at the Green Walls. And you guys do about 100 per month, so business is booming. Uh, it's been a you know, steadily growth pattern over the last eight years. If you go back to 2009, January 1st, that's when the federal government uncapped the tax credit. So that's really fueled our growth. But the other thing is programs. We now have so many different options for the homeowner to go solar and save or invest that it allows to cover more folks. Even if you can't pay outright, there are options. You can take out a loan, or you can lease, which is just like leasing a car. With no money down, you make payments over 15 to 20 years. Or you can enter a PPA, or a Purchase Power Agreement, where with no upfront costs, you agree to a set rate for the power you do use. In each case, the power is cheaper and cleaner than if you used a traditional utility. To figure out if solar panels are right for you, there are some basic questions you need to ask. The first thing to consider is how much you currently pay for your energy. The higher your current rate, the more you save. Next, you have to figure out if your home is in the right place. And you don't have to live in Arizona or California, but like all things in real estate, it's all about location, location, location. The main thing is roof space in a somewhat south-facing roof and no shade. Solar is very sensitive to trees and shade, so if somebody has too much shade, we're not gonna sell them or do a lease system that's not gonna save them money. Installations can take anywhere from one to two days. Once all permits are secured, installers dig trenches, add cable, and mount panels. The local utility provides a new meter, and you're ready to go almost worry-free. Most panels come with a 20-year warranty. So if I'm looking at five companies come and make offers, okay, and they're all similar, mm -hmm. how do I choose between uh, the companies to say this is a better one for me to work with? The first step is very important to make sure you're talking to a knowledgeable analyst. We can tell you exactly what you're going to produce and what you're going to save. There's so many things going on on a daily basis in the industry that you've really got to get somebody that's comfortable in what they're doing and going to be in it for the long haul. The fact is, solar power benefits not only the homeowner, but everyone in the community by producing clean energy. And if you produce more than you can use, you can make a little money by selling it back to a local utility. Right now might be the best environment to help the environment and save a little money by going solar. Prices are coming down and incentives are still around, but we don't know for how long. And with the current technology, the sun doesn't have to be up for your bills to come down.